Hello, beautiful people. Hope you're in the mood for some inky mess, because I am. My name's Kieran Siemens. This is my inky world. And I'm just in the mood to make such a mess with some ink. Might be beautiful mess. Do you want to see? Let's go this way. <laughs> Come on. Hello, welcome back. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just checking on my cameras because the last video did not, this one did not work, but this one did work. So, so, so I've got a piece of paper and I'm going to get a nice big snarly gnarly brush and I'm going to see what we come up with. I'm not really in the, sh in the, I just don't know what I'm going to do at the moment. I just kind of feel like I just need some inspiration for something. Okay. That looks quite nice. Oh, look at that. That's kind of weird there, the way it's almost like giving me two eyes there. Hmm. Two eyes and a kind of a, a nose beak type thing. All right, well, let's just put that over there. Oh, parts of my, parts of my paintbrush wrong. Uh, we'll get some new paintbrushes one day. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That That's one way it'll get me new brushes. I'll, you guys kind of give me some subscriptions. Come and join it. If you like watching the videos, do, do, do push that button. Come and have a, be a, be a part, be one of the gang, as it, as they say. Oh, there we got some googly eyes going on there. What is happening? Oh, I like that. You see, that's what's amazing about the way the ink falls. It just sets your mind on fire, you know. And we have... We have a new, let's just grab it quick. I haven't got the actual book yet, but you can go and get yourself one of those. Go and get yourself a Worry Lips book. Go on. Loads of good illustrations in there. Look at all those great, fun, crazy drawings in there. Lots of crazy drawings in there. So, go and get yourself one of those. And then, in a couple of days' time, you will have... all done it's all finished and I'm really pleased with it it has been an absolute bugger to to put together with all the formatting for for Amazon and everything they're so fussy they're beyond fussy it's like because I, I draw in this style where I, sometimes you get a little bit of a splash of ink falls down and that little splash of ink sets them into a world of fury. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, let's, let's carry that down. So every time, like up here, there's some of my little dots. It's like, well, if you cut them off, don't worry about it. But no, they want me to cut it and trim it. and oh, So stressful. But we are there. It is going through the motions as we speak, and I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. That almost kind of looks like a nose in there, doesn't it? it? Looks like a little nose in the middle there. Just kind of get that. I've kind of. <laughs> Sorry about my my pen just dripping away there. It gives me a really nice kind of character, though the way it just kind of sometimes, you know what it, you know what it's kind of like looking at, like for me, is some kind of wrinkly old turkey. That's what it's looking like. Maybe I can get some kind of turkey throat on him. Maybe I can get that going.
Natchez <laughs> turkey throat there. isn't it? Let's just see if I've got any, just put a highlight on those eyes just to make them stand out a little bit. Oh, it's a bit chewed up. Has it got any ink in it? Nope. Why do you keep it then, Kieran? You should throw that out, Kieran. I know, I know. I can hear my own, my own second brain talking to me. Yeah, let's just clean that up a little bit. Just to kind of make that. Oh, that pops now, doesn't it? Doesn't that pop up? Oh, yes. What a beautiful turkey. What an absolute handsome beast. What a handsome beast you are. I can't remember what if turkeys have hair. Do they have hair on their or feathers on the top of their head? Oh. Well my one does. Just clean that brush up. <laughs> so this is turkey. There's some kind of Hillbilly turkey, by the looks like it. I'm going to bring that in so it kind of fills onto his neck. I'm going to have to try and let's get some help with that brush. Where'd that beautiful brush go? There you go. There you go. I need some. I need some. Let's get some kind of like crazy feather thing going there. This is this is the, what I love about just kind of making a mess and feeling things, you know. That looks absolutely spondicious, that. around the bottom of his neck there right let's put that back over there now the fun thing about turkeys is that they're rather fat so or am I allowed to say fat in this in this world so I have to say he's a plump beast do I you know what I mean he's got a lot of meat on him turkey now and I do believe they've got these tiny little wings isn't that part of the um, the beauty of a turkey is that it's got these, these little spindly wings what was it I did earlier on I did the oh I did the stork oh I did a bird earlier on I did the stork. Somebody asked me for a tattoo. Well, I hope they're going to be sending me f photos of the tattoo. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Can you imagine somebody walking around with a big upside down bendy stork on there? <laughs> How amazing would that be? Uh, 
Let me give him a nice kind of feathery chest. If you do like TikTok, I do pop up on TikTok as well. TikTok and um, Instagram and everywhere, really. I suppose the, in this day and age, you kind of have to be part of everything, you know. You have to be a multi-editor uh, and you have to be a, um, a wizard with um, internet techniques and, um, you know. You have to be a master of everything these days. You can't just be an artist. You've got to be a, oh, I'm an uh, I'm an artist. I'm an editor. I'm a, I'm a presenter. I'm a, ah, really, it's kind of like all exhausting. I've got this idea to give him really fat legs. Uh, to do so, I'm going to have to give a little bit of. A little bit of a break between the body and the legs just to kind of I must say though I'm very happy to have the worry lips book out I can't tell you how stressful that has been just with all the piddling around you know as, as, as it comes down it's like I also had to be a book editor you know it's like, well, of course you have to be a book editor. You write books, you draw books, you, you're an illustrator. You need to, you know. I've got to do the formatting. I have to do the promotion. So if there's any big, um, uh, <laughs> if there's any big groovy book companies out there, yeah, send me a message. Yeah, we can, we can cut a deal, man. First 10 billion for me. A second for you or something like that you know I don't know even if um, how many people actually buy books anymore do people still buy books I know the iPad and the and the telephone has kind of destroyed a lot of stuff you know people just staring at you walk in the park these days everybody's staring at some kind of device very few times do you see somebody just sitting with a book. I still see it on the train, though. Fair play to the train people. I do see that they um, there's a lot of people on the trains that... Um, and I quite like a good train journey. I always kind of find the nicest people all going somewhere and, and want to tell you all about it. <laughs> I met this lovely guy on the train. If you're watching, say hello. And um, Mr. Miro, he had, he had kind of like this kind of ginger, very wild, curly ginger hair. There's a photo of him on one of my posts somewhere. And he, for some reason, he had this wild, crazy, curly, straggly orange hair. And Mr. Miro just completely was obsessed with him, you know? It's like his favorite color was orange all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> and he was just absolutely obsessed with this guy. And originally he was kind of sitting on the floor um, in, in between the carriages because it was a very busy train. I was on my way to Newcastle at the time. And um, Mr. Miro was just there and he was just kind of like you could see him just like what's that what's that what's that what's that <laughs> like well it's just a man with orange hair and he was just he was just absolutely madly in love That's the only way I can describe it he was madly in love and this guy was so sweet and um he sat and he held Mr. Miro and you know it was it was lovely it was just one of those lovely people I think he was doing some kind of financial um, studies. You know, he was going to be a, a young millionaire or something, you know. One of those young financial hopefuls. And um, <laughs> look at those legs. Oh, oh my God. 
Yeah, I was drawing away and I wasn't even thinking about what I'm doing. Very cute. Yeah, so maybe Mr. Mirror's favorite color is orange, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. He yeah, absolutely loved him. And this guy was so sweet, just sat there cuddling him. And, and um, we talked quite a bit. As we were both kicked out into the um, the hallway. That's a really, really, really rather cute turkey. I kind of feel like he needs some eyebrows of some sort. a really lovely character about him. I love the way his mouth comes down like that and scoops up. I love that. That is my turkey and what a lovely turkey it is. I do hope it makes up for the um, losing the, the, the uh, part of the video on the earlier one. So that is my turkey. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I, you know, it's such a pleasure to to get everybody on here, and it's such a pleasure to get comments from people. I do love sitting and reading through all. All the comments from people and all the strange requests and everything. It's just so lovely to know there's all those people out there. And there's some lovely people out there. There are some really, really lovely people. And so far I've got people from America and the Netherlands and Germany and all sorts of places. So you'll be in, in fine company. You will be in fine company for sure. Right, so let's get the, oh, that's nice, I like that. There is something so, you know, I kind of feel like that, that tail kind of needs a little, little higgity-piggity on it, just to kind of help that. That's the one that didn't work. Oh yeah, you're the one you're keeping. Yeah, yeah, the one I'm keeping. That one all these pots and jars, some of them are empty, you know. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. In fact, I almost feel like and that neck needs to just follow on around from that. Lovely. Oh yes. Let's just do a little bit more with that, just to just to make that neck look like it's falling. Lovely. Right. Let's frame this baby up. I do love splashing down all this framing on my on my turkey. How gorgeous is that? love me I love making a mess I love making a mess it's terrible isn't it it's like I'm like five years old all over again it's beautiful I love it and why not get out there and and, 
and do your art. Get out there and enjoy everything you're doing. And I love my turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a fabulous day. I love his little stumpy legs. Maybe I should just darken that up. Should I just darken that up? Go ahead. Does he need a little darkening up and down there? Yes, 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 yes. I don't really like to touch up after, but sometimes... Sometimes things need. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. That is a beautiful turkey. And I love his big wobbly neck that he's got on there. I love his little stumpy fat legs. You can imagine he's walking like <laughs> So there we have it, today's turkey. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, do subscribe. And if you did have anything to talk about it, if you want to say anything, you want to tell me something, if you want to request something, if you want to tell me some interesting thing about this turkey that I don't know about, tell me in the comments below. So, thank you very, 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 very much. And I will see you again very, very soon for another video. Keep it messy. And I'll see you soon, all right? Bye-bye. <laughs>